how do you balance the use of a medication um, with the use of surgery or revision surgery? Like, how do you kind of decide where to draw that line? I think this is something that you need to have an engaged conversation with patients about, respect their autonomy and their and what their desire is with regards to treating their underlying disease. Because again, this is going to be a lifelong journey for treating obesity. And so I often tell patients that I live in a world of and and not ors. And so we can consider both treatments and we talk in a balanced way about what the risks and benefits are to both. I'm seeing a trend recently with regards to patients significantly preferring anti-obesity medication therapies just because they are so much more effective than they had been previously. And I think it's important to discuss with patients that, you know, not everybody sees the response that they want from these treatments and that if you don't see the treatment response that you want, why don't we talk about something else that may be helpful for you and that may be another medication therapy, it may be a bariatric procedure or another lifestyle intervention. That sounds great. Let's see. Are there any key takeaways that um, you would like your fellow physicians to kind of take from from these three uh, presentations and conversations that you have that you feel like is is mostly absent in, in the landscape of the conversation that's being had already? Sure. Um, just I'd like to reiterate that obesity is a chronic and complex disease and that neither medications nor surgery is going to be curative. So what we need to do is 